वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द क्विक सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया का टेस्ट सीरीज मेडिकल 2020 फॉर आरएम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज टेस्ट नंबर 1 कोड ई एंड एफ फॉर केमिस्ट्री कंडक्टेड ऑन 27th ऑफ दिसंबर 2020 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 46 लेट्स रीड इट द मास ऑफ जिंक रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस 2.24 लीटर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन गैस एट एसटीपी ऑन ट्रीटमेंट with excess of dilute hcl is we are given with the atomic mass of zinc which is 65.4 u so student first of all for this question we have to write the balance reaction that occurs between zinc and dilute hcl i am writing it zinc when reacts with two moles of hcl we get zncl2 and one mole of h2 gas here two moles of hcl are required but we are already given with excess of hcl so hardly matters now students it is very clear that one mole of zinc gives one mole of h2 also we need to know that the volume of one mole of a gas at stp is 22.4 liter so we are given that 2.24 liter of dihydrogen that is h2 gas at stp is produced so first of all we will be calculating the number of moles of h2 that are produced in the reaction so number of moles of h2 gas produced is equals to 2.24 divided by molar volume which is 22.4 liter which is ultimately equals to 0.1 mole so student again we have already discussed that one mole of h2 gas is produced from 1 mole of zinc that is 65.4 gram but here we are given 0.1 mole of h2 which requires 0.1 into 65.4 gram of zinc which is equals to 6.54 gram of zinc that means the correct answer is option number 2 so here i'm writing answer is option number 2 moving to next question which is 47 let's read it which among the following contains highest number of atoms students in this question we are given with four options and we have to identify that in which of the following option highest number of atoms are present so let's start with option number 1 we are given 8 g of O2. So first of all, we'll be converting mass into moles, and then we'll be able to calculate number of atoms. This means eight upon thirty-two mole of O2. But here we have to calculate number of atoms. So eight into thirty-two into two into n a atoms of oxygen. We have multiplied two. because one molecule of o2 contains two atoms so here number of atoms is equals to 0.5 na atoms of oxygen moving to next next we have 9 g of h2o so 9 g of h2o first we will be calculating number of moles so mass divided by molar mass mole of h2o let's calculate number of atoms so this will be 9 upon 18 into 3 since one molecule of water contains three atoms multiplied by na atoms of hydrogen and oxygen which is equals to 1.5 na atoms of oxygen and hydrogen moving to next 25 gram of calcium carbonate let's calculate number of moles that is mass divided by molar mass so 25 divided by 100 the molar mass of calcium carbonate is 100 mole of calcium carbonate which is equals to and now let's calculate number of atoms so 25 upon 100 multiplied by 5 into na atoms because 
we have multiplied 5 here because one molecule of calcium carbonate contains three atoms of oxygen one of carbon and one of calcium that means total five atoms so student total we have 1.25 na atoms and the last that is 10 gram of helium i'm calculating here so 10 gram of helium let's calculate number of moles so 10 divided by 4 mole of helium which is equals to 2.5 Na atoms. Students, it is very clear that highest number of atoms are present in 10 gram of helium. That means the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to next question, which is question number 48. Let's read it. Correct order of decreasing ionization enthalpy of lithium, carbon, boron and beryllium is. Students are given elements lies in the second period of the modern periodic table. Also, we know that as we go left to right in the modern periodic table, the ionization enthalpy increases. But when we talk about boron and beryllium, though boron lies on the right side of the beryllium, but the ionization enthalpy of boron is less than that of beryllium because in case of beryllium the electron is removed from the stable electronic configuration that is 2s subshell which is completely filled so removal of electron becomes difficult in case of beryllium so student the order of ionization enthalpy highest is of carbon then we have beryllium rather than boron. Then we have boron and the least ionization enthalpy is of lithium. Student, that means the correct order is represented in option number 1. So, answer is option number 1. Moving to next question, which is question number 49. Let's read the question. The orbital angular momentum of a 3d electron is student for this question first of all we need to know the formula to calculate orbital angular momentum i'm writing here orbital angular momentum is equals to under root l l plus 1 h cross student here l represents the azimuthal quantum number so student for 3d the value of l is equals to 2 so we can calculate orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum which is equals to under root 2 2 plus 1 h cross which is ultimately equals to root 6 h cross that means the correct answer is option number 2. So, here I am writing option, correct answer is option number 2. Moving to next question, which is question number 50. Let's read it. Which among the following is incorrect set of quantum numbers for an electron in an atom? So, student, let's start. Number 1, we are given n is equals to 4, l is equals to 2, m is equals to plus 2 and s is equals to plus half. Student, this uh, set of quantum number can be possible for an electron in an atom. Moving to next, n3, l1, m minus 1, s is equals to minus half. Again, this is possible set. Next, n5, l is equals to 3, m is equals to minus 3, s is equals to plus half. Student, this is also a possible set. Moving to last, n is equals to 4, l is equals to 1, m is equals to minus 2, s is equals to minus half student this set of quantum number is not possible because we need to know that the value of m lies from minus l to plus l here the value of l is 1 that means the value of m is m will be minus 1 0 and plus 1 the value of m minus 2 is not possible when the value of l is 1 that means the correct answer for this question is option number Four. Going to next question. 